all righty hello scorpion and hello everybody watching right now later on to this fantastic dinosaur action welcome well, yeah five color dinos you might think hey uh tarzan or rv you do too many crazy things four color you're playing stampede dinos 18 lands or 19 i think at this point but uh but anyways, anyways, it seems like it's too low of a land count. Sometimes that is the case, but as I'm sure we're going to witness tonight, that uh, that will not be the case. Santa Bear, yes. One of, uh, one of the Christmas year's PJs. Excuse me. I mentioned a couple times before, but my wife, for about four or five years, she would buy... A set of PJs all matching for extended family, her sister, everybody, her parents, just kind of as the gift. But eventually everybody ended up with too many PJs and yeah, Sant Santa Bear, I like it. Yeah, it's a comfy shirt, it was the top shirt on the pile when I changed my shirt, so there you go. That's the... Uh, the reasoning for it but what is the reasoning for well that was the wrong one okay what is the reasoning for five color dinos do you need to do this well, maybe but if you have the potential to splash for five colors that does open up the possibilities of bringing in some pretty fantastic hate maybe something specific or something general oh Santa Raptors. Uh, no Santa Raptors. I don't have a Christmas themed dinosaur shirt, but I think that would be. Uh, that'd be pretty good. Hmm. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. However, splashing the blue for a confounding riddle. A counter spell. Could it be some other counter spell? Potentially. It could be a more specific counter spell, maybe for instance and sorceries, and it would cost cheaper, but for countering anything i think this is the ticket two in the blue i just hold this up forever if i suspect the opponent is going to who knows what indomitable creativity no uh soren potentially or they cast vein ripper maybe that rakdos vampire's opponent just doesn't have cavernous souls and they try to hard cast the vein ripper no no that's not happening any number of things or the azorius control opponent taps out for the settle the wreckage nope not happening hopefully but you get the idea counter anything unless the opponent pays for chances are the opponent most opponents if it's focused on one big spell sort of combo that sort of thing they're not going to have an extra four however if we draw a second one as we wait, as we continue to hold up mana for this, it's lovely stuff because it's like, it's kind of like a pretty good cycle. Paying three to look at the top four cards of our library, put one into our hand, the rest into the graveyard. The graveyard part isn't so good, but I get to dig four deep at instant speed, buying me or getting me ahead a few turns. A few crucial turns, and that might be all I need. Maybe it digs to grab the Arc Druid's Charm that I might be able to cast after doing Confounding Riddle. That'd be pretty cool stuff. If I have six, I pay two in a blue, I have three green sources left, and then Arc Druids to grab the Sunken to put it out to go with Galta. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely. But again, counter any spell. Good, good still anoint with affliction lovely stuff one in the black instant speed to exile amalia or boros heroic the big creature that they dump a bunch of spells onto to make it bigger illuminator virtuoso especially is uh very very scary okay okay good stuff all right i'll check it out after i've done the stream here or maybe i'll do it live but if anybody is wondering Yes, I do have a Discord. The link is in the description, as always. An extinction event. That's that's staying in. 
However, Ley Line of Sanctity, again, if I don't have to worry too much about the Rakdos Vampires matchup, they can't thought seize or duress hand hate away specific pieces that get me to my lands. Getting rid of Sylvan Scrying, ooh, if they see I have this and a Castle Garenbrig and a Forest, that feels very painful, but protecting against that and protecting against the Vein Ripper. Target opponent loses two life, and then they gain two life. We stop that part as well. If I'm not so scared about the Vein Ripper, maybe, maybe I don't need this. That was the main inspiration to bring it in. Exile the Vein Ripper, Blood Tithe Harvester, any creature with an even mana value. It certainly does the trick, did the trick, but uh, we'll keep that in mind. Maybe switch it out for something else. Yeah, yeah, should be good. But it's not too much of a drawback. And I forgot to talk about the lands there. How am I getting the blue? How am I getting the black, the white? How many do I need of each? Uh, you know, two or three ways to see the source of blue. Sunken could be blue, sunken could be white, sunken could be black. Usually the first one is green, but the second one, boom. There you go. And you can use that two blue, two white, or two black for Castle Garenbrig's ability because you only need two green and two of any other color. So it's, it's pretty fantastic that way. Or you see the Triome, which I'm using, so lovely stuff. Is that hand lovely? I could see myself mulliganing at least once. I do like to see Castle Garenbrig. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay, good, good. Let's hope they have, uh, well, thought seizes and duresses. Now, no, no. Maybe they have, uh, maybe it is Azorius Control. I bet. I got that to fair. Okay. Mono Green Devotion? <laughs> Something? Interesting, though. With the snow covered forest, you don't often see that. Okay, mutate. Huh. Well, this could get out of hand real quick. Painful, painful stuff. Mutate. Often, they have the Paradise Druid, which unfortunately has Hexproof. And they just continually mutate onto the Paradise Druid. And they never tap it for mana, so it always has Hexproof. And they just make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And we can't target it. And that's going to be... Oh, my goodness. I play this game too much. Hashtag pre-recorded 100%. Okay. I will see what happens. Yeah, we're going sunken citadel. 100%. I don't see any, well, any reason why I wouldn't go with this. Got all the sources of green, eh, white. Yeah, we'll go with green. I could have chosen white, potentially help to get closer to playing another ley line of sanctity but it doesn't really matter at this point we have one out and it's not really impactful in this matchup super late yes super super duper late jdx okay, a great night out that is good start the weekend off right oh boy dead techno six six arc druid's charm well, we could search for Galta, maybe. What'd be the best thing? I don't think they have a whole lot of removal. I kind of want to just go Surak and Gorklaw. Supercharge what I'm about to do, which probably is going to be Rampaging Brontodon. Yeah. Or if we draw land next turn, search for you know who, Galta, Stampede Tyrant. And then Surak and Gorklaw putting a 1 1 counter on creatures non-token creatures whenever they enter and giving them haste and they have trample but carnage tyrant and rampaging brontodon already do a 20 ounce steak man that's massive baked potato broccoli oh my goodness my my mouth is watering that sounds uh, good good it's not so good with the uh oh, the amount of pain that this opponent is about to deal to us. 
don't play any more creatures. I would imagine we're mostly dead. Dead-ish. Is there something that would be the best thing? We could almost kind of kill now. No. Let me think. I say rampaging Brontodon. Two bodies. Well, two, six, eight. We might be able to live, potentially. I think so. I think we could do it. Leave them both to block. Surik and Gorklaw to block. Barkhide Troll, Rampaging Brontodon to block the Elder Gargroth. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, we get it done. Hello, and welcome to Late Night Dinos. Oh my goodness. The opponent has just destroyed the ley line of sanctity. Relax, sit back, close your eyes as you listen to my commentary. Calm commentary. Something like that. Yeah, put myself to sleep, my goodness. <laughs> Not really putting the opponent to sleep. I was wishing I could do that. What could kill him? Hmm. Eight, ten. Now nah, we're we're not winning that one, I don't think. Huh. huh. I'm just trying to see if there's a way out. Rampaging Brontodon to attack to get plus five, plus five, twelve, two, two, two. No. No. Unfortunately, just a bunch of bodies. Fantastic lovely stuff especially with that uh, painful painful great hench but the great hench is going to be going away because a hundred percent that was very key for the opponent we may not see it I would imagine the opponent probably has two two or three copies I didn't watch Wrestlemania no basically this is pretty much all I do throw oh that, 100% Scorpion. I really think I should do that for a little bit there. I wasn't using Arcdruid's Charm, which would grab the Serith if it makes sense to do so. And if pretty much all my creatures have Trample, they all do with Serac and Goreclaw. But if it's not out, they still might. Carnage Tyrant, Rampaging Brontodon. And for anybody that isn't aware, if you pair Death Touch and Trample, you only have to deal one damage to whatever blocking creature, however many blocking creatures, and then the rest continues on through. You only have to assign lethal with death touch. Lethal is one. Boom. Huh. That would be good. That would be good. But we do have to trim something, though. Hmm. Tyrannix Rex. Three copies of that. This opponent doesn't really have much potentially any removal, so Rampaging Brontodon being the bigger dinosaur as opposed to Tyrannix Rex. That makes sense. This opponent doesn't have any counter spells and anything like that. Ah, I think we could do better. And I just realized I forgot to trim <laughs> Ley, speaking of, Ley Line of Sanctity. Uh, speaking of not targeting us. There you go. I kind of want to risk it, though. Sunken Citadel, draw into the second land. Sylvan Scrying to grab... Kind of, no, no, well, not. Okay, I should have kept it. Painful, painful to start. But yeah, most dinos, they do have trample. Hmm. I did hear something about the rock. Some fantastic storyline with The Rock returning and uh, something like that. But John Cena, he's still my, my favorite. The best. The best of the best. Nah, we send one force to the bottom. I could see that, yeah. Sarah's. Or maybe move her to the sideboard. Bring her in if we feel we have to plow through somebody. Plow through the opponent's with Galtus Stampede Tyrant, the main way, 
but then we also have the additional way of the opponent basically not being able to stop most of the damage pair it together to beat people a little bit easier better huh definitely the other gore claw the gore claw terror of calcisma three and a green for a four three creatures you control with power four or greater four or greater yeah four or greater cost two less lovely i do like its potential hopefully i get it with something that uh gives everybody haste if i do they might just die next turn turn four galta stampede tyrant <laughs> hey it's working out maybe hey as long as cena returned good good oh well that is uh maybe good enough get it yeah there you go turn four eight mana that's what it's all about Ooh. they're not gonna be dealing with that hmm i do like that uh, pairing both gore claws it does make pretty good sense you could have Sarek and gore claw enter plus gore claw terror of calcisma because they are two different creatures yeah yeah one gives the og gore claw haste which it attacks and then everybody gets bigger and they have counters that would be nice that would be nice almost as nice as the pain i'm about to uh deal to the opponent huh hey rock cena it's good it's good you can't really top that classic fantastic okay okay look it up on youtube or something like that actually i'm gonna get some more coffee and i'll not forget to take out ley line of sanctity because it's not helping at all Event? Wow, my goodness, what's going on here? Maybe they're mad I did something bigger and better than them. Hmm. I uh, probably, probably Scorpion. I could, uh, I could see that happening. The algorithm knows. I mean, I faced some decks last night that had thought these, so maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Do I want Terra Sunder? Not really. Actually, come to think of it, Extinction Event, that is where it's at. They're going to have a bunch of creatures. Even, even, well, whatever makes the most sense, whatever takes out the most. I think Extinction Event might be more of a ticket. Especially with creatures that have Hexproof. Because Extinction Event does not target. If I had chosen even... The Paradise Druid is exiled. Gem Razor exiled. That's it. That's it. 100%. Trim one Serac and Goreclaw. Have to free up space somewhere. You use Gem Razor. Okay. Huh. I could. I could. Huh. I'm going to think about that. 
throw in mana dorks. It's been a long, well, it hasn't been a super long time. I used Ixley's Lore Keeper there for about two nights, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I just like not using the mana dorks. I start off with them in the sideboard, at least, if there's some matchup where, well, they're not going to die. But I think for the overwhelming majority of the decks that I face, uh, they're not going to live. I'd rather not rely on it. Play something that just dies and the opponent uses a piece of removal that I didn't care about anyways. Once I start playing the big stuff, boom, scary. Not going to be, not going to be too painful. Yeah. Definitely. I do appreciate Gem Razor for the, you know, trample, getting it on somebody, mutating to take out an artifact or enchantment. Possibly as an additional way to get rid of the Torpor Orb. Or... Okay. Alright. I'll take it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Probably when they saw that happen, they're like, yeah, I can't, I can't top that. Okay, got him. I gotta say though, if we're on the mana dork line of thinking, turn one, hopefully, land war elves, elvish mystic, leading into the turn two, arc druid's charm. I think that could be pretty fantastic. However, you have to have turn one untapped green. And I think that's going to be a little bit too hard. You don't get it with Castle. You don't get it with Sunken. Hard to say. You might want Sunken Citadel to be your second land. Potentially. I think it could just be uh, maybe a little bit too awkward. It's not awkward to keep this hand though. Leyline, boom. Lovely. Even though two Indatha Triumphs does... Well, it doesn't mean we get to two untapped on turn two for the sylvan scrying we don't have to worry about the opponent thoughts oh oh do you have a thought sees oh boy i bet you do <laughs> yes. oh and getting that forest too but sylvan scrying 100 percent we don't have anything for one so sylvan to grab the sunken which always enters tapped just do it. Do it. Don't ask questions. Maybe if I had commune with dinosaurs, which isn't in the list tonight, go with the forest to maybe dig for a sunken, but then I couldn't have played the sunken if I would have grabbed it with commune. Are they mostly dead? Well, somewhat. Well, we're playing the forest. Uh, seven? seven. Close. That is pretty close. We'll wait and see what they do. Arc Druid's Charm, I would imagine, we're going to grab Castle Garenbreak. It puts it out, we'll be able to make 7, and then if the opponent doesn't do anything quick, and if we draw a land that enters untapped next turn, hmm, yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty scary. Stomping Ground, oh, Finn is Explorer Legal, yes. Maybe elevating the Poison, Toxic potential of Tyrannix Rex. That would be that would be nice. Huh. I'm gonna have to think about that. I have always had it in the back of my mind to elevate that stuff. Land on tap. Land on tap. Let's win. Get him. Well, it's not a land untapped, but nurturing Bristleback gets us uh, gets us what we need. Zagos trying to... Huh. Might as well be a forest. Play the ley line of sanctity. Play the land for the turn. We've got the two sources of white for the Indatha Triumph. Not that I need two ley line of sanctities. It is redundant, but if they have removal, now I gotta back. Okay. Okay, this is looking a little painful. Maybe. Oh, Sarath, Trample, and Finn. That is a way to win. That rhymes too. Oh, that's a good game. 
I think. It would be kind of embarrassing if it, uh, if it wasn't. I think it will be, Pro probably. Ouch. I would imagine we're left with one blocker. Galta or Serac, we can stop Shieldred, I think. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. They gotta have uh, something. But again, sometimes you just get uh, painfully flooded. Maybe they have a sweeper. Where's something with haste? Darn. Better be another big creature next turn. Grey Merchant is rough. Five. Okay, okay, that's how it goes. Okay, mono black. Well, I'm keeping in Leyline of Sanctity 100%. No question about it. And we just have to hope for more impactful things. Now, I do remember that Brawl deck. I think I took you down in one of the games. I'm pretty sure you won the match overall. Or, no, it wasn't a match. I don't know. I won once, and I think you won once, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 1-1, one, one. okay. Hmm. Yep, keep 100%. Nope, no question about it. We got a castle, a sunken, a zagoth, which is the forest type for castle to enter untapped. It's going to be our best bet. And we got lots of lovely big creatures just in case Zagoth to start which would allow Castle Garenbreak to enter untapped on turn 2 if by chance we had a Sylvan Scrying but we don't hopefully see a Sylvan Scrying or an Arcturid's Charm at uh, uh, well, uh, there you go either I would draw another Sunken I would see a Sylvan to grab a Sunken or I would see an Arcturid's to put the Sunken out that is a pretty good possibility, and we saw it happen right there. Jordan, how's it going? Hopefully all is well with you. Not so well with the Vein Ripper, but uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Oh, oh. Okay. They're dead. We're able to make seven this turn, eight next turn with the forest. See you later. You can't thought seize away any of my stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. Hopefully, hopefully we're not dead. The Grey Merchant may be coming in hot. Possibly. But yeah, that second game did go pretty slow. You have a, a great night? Good, good, good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good especially because it appears like uh, they might be dead. I hope. I will find out. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's something. They only have two mana left. Okay, one mana left with the treasure. Put a stop at the end of their turn. A couple stops, just so I don't uh, miss Arc Druids. Yeah. Okay, here goes nothing. See you later. That's why you use Leyline of Sanctity. Gotcha. Oh, Surak and Gorklaw to boot. This is what it's all about. Poof. Done. You just have to sit there and die. Oh, it doesn't matter what life you're at. See you later. You have no power here. Yeah. A great night got even greater. Man, oh. You know, you just know for a fact they had thought seizes and duresses basically guaranteed against anything with black. I do my thing. They can't interrupt it. Does that mean this should always stay in? Maybe. Chances are in probably a lot of the cases I would lose against decks like that because they would interrupt me. I would never get there. 100% that Thought Seize or Duress would have gotten rid of Arcdruid's Charm. Now, now it doesn't. A six-foot statue, huh? That would be good. 
I've always wondered about getting into figurines, modeling, woodworking, carving, clay. I actually like clay quite a bit. But uh, making a custom model, yeah, uh, that'd be nice. Uh, almost as nice as shutting down the opponent's hand hate. It is great. Yeah, it's a. I wish that cavern was a source of green. Then I might keep it. Mainly because of the ley line of sanctity. Okay, that's not it either. One more time. We can do it. Okay, okay, I'll think about it. It's gotta be it, unfortunately. I would imagine most stuff is going to get discarded. They're going to chomp at the... Okay, well, they don't have a thought seize or a duress. Maybe for the most part it is permanents that are black because this is mono black devotion. Me Mephitic draft. Huh. Well, at the very least, Sylvan's going to grab Castle Garenbrake. Next turn we play that. Arcdruids, hopefully, cross your fingers. Arcdruids grabs Sunken. Puts it out. Yeah. 3D would be good. I think 3D printers in general have increased in quality. I never really liked 3D printers just because it it didn't look so good. Lines and everything. Now I think for the most part, you know, it can get uh, pretty good, high quality stuff, smooth. Yeah. Hopefully we can drop Tyrannix Rex next turn. Two. Okay. Okay. Vein Ripper is a painful. Would they block Tyrannix Rex? Uh, hard to say. But that's going to be our best bet. Big time. Here goes nothing. Hopefully that's enough to get the job done. They can't target it. They might have Shieldred's Edict, Lillian of the Veil, vale, or Fail, if I have Leyline of Sanctity out. Lillian of the Veil's minus two target player sacrifices a creature doesn't happen hmm okay filler sanding well yeah well, might be up for that do it like in death of triumph we got to play something for sure so they do have it okay okay that's how it goes we're probably it dead, dead, definitely dead, 100%. A little bit unfortunate, but uh, darn. A spray parm, okay. I sand um, wooden coasters and things like that. I've had some experience in the sanding department. Huh. They got Shieldred's Edict. What more can you say? I don't mind sanding. I like the finished product, the potential, seeing it evolve and ooh, just get smooth using consistently different steps of grits. You start with 60, 80, 120, 200, 400, 600. You go to like 2000, which is knife sharpening grit something like that brush off at each stage just so you're not grinding the previous stages dust with the new stage of grit yeah okay yoda groot maybe one day they'll do a a secret layer of yoda star wars guardians of the galaxy wet sand okay yeah, I guess that would make sense. Maybe the plastic and the material from a 3D printer would be well, not the best to breathe in. Wood's probably quite a bit safer, I imagine. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, technically I like that. No, we can't do it. Slightly better still with a ley line 
one more. Okay, okay. Well, finally we got a ley line sent, rampaging and train extracts to the bottom. We may appreciate the two Regis or Alphas giving everybody haste, I hope. Crossing fingers. Okay. Arc Druid's charm, lovely stuff. Yeah, I would imagine resin is pretty, pretty darn toxic. And another Endatha Trium. There we go. This is a green source for Arc Druids next turn, at the very least. We're going to have three green facing off against. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, and a sunken. Yeah, got to be sunken citadel. Next turn, the forest. We could. It's going to be good. A few. Wow, that is good. The triumphs from Ikoria. Very, very expensive stuff. Pretty expensive, I think. Yeah. Oh, man. Discard another thought seize. Do it. Oh, that feels so good. Soren, uh, painful. We do need, but we need a source of red, really. It is a bit unfortunate we don't have, now I should probably add in one non-cavernous soul source of red if this scenario ever happens. I could have probably kept Trainix Rex, potentially a little bit of a better idea than both Regisaurs. But, but, Castle Garenbrig, 100%, no question, that's what it's got to be. And uh, another ley line, okay. We see a land on tap next turn. Maybe, maybe we can get him. Hopefully. That darn Blood Tide Harvester is uh, certainly packing a punch. Okay, Arc Fiend of the Dross, uh, okay. Arc Druid's Charm. Too little, too late. Not so great. A decent recovery. Would keeping the Tyrannix Rex have helped better than both Regisaurs? Well, potentially. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? I'll keep it the same. Uh, I was mentioning maybe bringing in Extinction Event still for the Vampires matchup, which I was, but... I want to get a lot of matches under my belt, not bringing it in. Just focusing on Ley Line of Sanctity. They can't interrupt what I want to do, and it could be bigger and better than what they want to do. But is this good? Could be. I'll keep it, just because I don't have Sylvan Scrying or Arc Druid's Charm. So if I don't have them to start, the opponent's uh, thought sees. Well, it's... Uh, well, it can't get rid of it if it's not in my hand at all. Should be, should be all right. Sylvan or Arcdruid's Charm at uh, any point, I hope. I would kind of expect that to happen, but there is a chance of that not happening. Okay, okay, well, yeah, just uh, draw right into it. Good stuff. That's what it's all about. Either I see one of four Arcdruids, one of four Sylvans, or 104 Castle Garen. Okay, okay. Jinx myself. Darn. We'll get there. Hopefully, Surak and Gorklaw doesn't get killed. Or I can just play Tyrannix Rex and take out Lillian of the Vale. That'd be ideal. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Do I want to do that? I kind of do. Or just smack them. You know what? I'm going to smack them. I think they could have some way to get rid of Tyrannix Rex. I'm not really worried about Liliana making me discard one thing. That's going to be rampaging Brontodon. Then we still have Surik and Gorklaw and Polanyi's Hatcher to get them. Get them. Galt and Mavrin. Yeah. I could see myself doing that. Especially because I am dipping my claw into white a little bit. Yeah, I should give that a go. I kind of forgot about Galt and Mavrin, but I don't see why a single copy would hurt. 
Okay, okay. That's painful. One more land. You can do it. Let's go. I'm just happy they haven't gone with Thoughtseize. Fortunate. Not quite, but we might still get there. They might not have removal for Surak and Gorkla. I would imagine that's going to be the case. Probably. Hopefully not. Uh, now it's got to be Galta, sadly. Sirk and Gorklaw dead. Okay, well, not dead. But with Sirk and Gorklaw out, if I drop Galta's Stampede Tyrant, it would get the haste and all that lovely stuff, which uh, that would be nice. We're not dead this turn, but we got to do something big. Rogren. Okay, okay. I think that's the Jeskai one, the blue, white, and red. I'm pretty sure. Land on tap. Let's go. You can do it. Oh, okay. There we go. Is that it? Maybe. We're about to find out. Hasty, hasty. I think that might be the punch packing I was hoping for. Do I have one black? That's okay. I like the looks of this. Yes, please. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you're going to fail to push one of these things? That's all right. I hope. Yeah. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me. Get him. I'm pretty sure that's lethal, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, good. Phew. All right, we got the job done surprisingly without any ley line of sanctity there. Uh, potentially, could the opponent have trimmed Thoughtseize because they saw how literally useless it is? So they trim it to bring something in from the sideboard and then I simply don't have this out on the battlefield and they're kicking themselves because they could have interrupted me a little bit better, maybe. Oh, yes. I do like that Planeswalker symbol. I've got a lot of Marauding Raptors with that Planeswalker symbol, the promo packs. I don't know if they do promo packs anymore. It was an LGS thing. If you won in a night, you could get a promo pack with that silver Planeswalker stamp. Huh. We wouldn't be stamping our way to a win with that hand, though. One Forest? Nah. Oh. Well, that's better. I like... I like that a lot. Hmm. <clears throat> nah, nah. I, I'm listening to my gut. Keep Surik and Gorkla. Just because... Turn 4 with Sunken Citadel, we could be playing Surik and... Oh! Okay. But we could be playing it. With the 6 green... Where we couldn't play Planes Hatcher or read. Okay, oh, just give me exactly what I need. It always enters tapped. I didn't have a turn two play for turn two. It's a forest type to help one of the two Castle Garenbriggs enter. You get the idea. We're rolling in it. Oh, I wonder if they have Thoughtseize or Duress. Oh boy. If we draw Galtus Stampede Tyrant next turn, they're dead beautiful. I'll choose the second sunken as red just to get my source for it for Pelaney's Hatcher, but hey. Galta, chant with me. Oh! Oh, they have blot out. Completely useless once again. Target opponent. But they can't target me. Good. Alright, Galta. Galta. Grant me revenge! If you do not listen, 
something to hell with you. Got to do it. A bunch of Fable of the Mirror Breakers, not too much of a problem. Okay, another ley line. Huh. Play the most durable thing? I might as well. I don't necessarily have to, but if they don't have a way to make me sacrifice Carnage Tyrant, it could deter aggression from the opponent, and that might be nice. I hope. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Discard the Vein Ripper. That's what I like to see. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Galta, you can do it. Next turn, let's go. Oh, we got it. Technically, we got it. Hmm. Now the question becomes, would they kill us next turn? They basically would. Oh, that's a tough one. You know what? Let's attack. Of course they would let it through. They must think there's some shenanigans up my sleeve, so maybe they want to... No, they don't want to block. Now, would I like to use Arc Druids to take out Reflection of Kiki Jiki and uh, 6, 10, 12? Huh. I think it's just got to be Arc Druids. No Kiki Jiki. No, no, no. Go away. I think we should be all right. They got 10, 12 with Muta Vault. 13. 13 with Soren. Putting a counter on the Vein Ripper. They gain a bunch of life, unfortunately. But uh, the Vein Ripper will be tapped at the very least. They'll be more open and, uh, again, hopefully drawing you know who. No Shieldred's Edict. Don't do it. Arc Fiend of the Dross. Painful. Sylvan Scrying, also painful. Yeah, that's how she goes. Sometimes you don't see the thing that would have won you. 100%. You know it would have won you right then and there. So that's a, a good indication, a good case, example. Four copies, Galta Stampede Tarrant. Do it. Just do it. It's good. One more match? Yeah. Let's do one more match. Yeah. It's Friday. I get to sleep in. Well, not sleep in too much. I'm letting my wife sleep in tomorrow morning, but... No. One more. One more. Leyline of Sanctity, though. It's doing what it needs to do. Giving me well, a much better chance. Eventually. I gotta say though, it's still taking quite some time for the game to find an opponent. It really is maintaining that roughly one minute. I was so used to 30 seconds, basically all the time, sometimes instantaneous. Okay, okay. So it's gonna be a, another Vein Ripper. I'm pretty sure I faced this opponent before. Quite certain. Do I like that? Not so much. Yorion, Sky Nomad, I would imagine some sort of control matchup. Nah, nah, a little bit better. Okay, that's definitely quite a bit better. Big time. Send one of the two T-Rexes to the bottom. They shouldn't be able to counter Sylvan Scrying coming up, so... Oh! Oh my goodness. Well. Well, well, well. Another Sunken is good. What do they got up their sleeve? Okay, okay. 
I like the looks of this. Seven mana, turn four. That's how, that's how we do it. Probably. I've certainly played everybody who plays Explorer because it's not a super popular format. But uh, that's where it's at. Uh, Yorion Enigmatic Incarnation Enchantments. I don't have Back to Nature, unfortunately. That's going to be painful. I'll probably bring in Confounding Riddle counter stuff. Okay. Okay, we got shenanigans up their sleeve. Maybe. But uh, Trainix Rex does the trick. I hope. Ooh, ouch. Man, man, that's good. What isn't that good against? Turn 4 T-Rex, so if it is so good, and I've said this before, try and look for some way to make that specifically happen more often. Up the Beanstalk, that's a card. Certainly. Okay. Yeah. Carnage turns. Let's do it. I like the looks of this. Hopefully they don't have a sweeper. I think for the most part, it's just going to be enchantments. Things with enter the battlefield effects. Elevating the potential of Yorion Sky Nomad. Bouncing all the stuff that does stuff when it enters. Perhaps. Uh, yeah. Plane crash incoming. I timed that pretty good, I think, with the explosion conceding of the opponent plus the... Yeah. Okay. What is it exactly that is... Certainly the question. Up the beanstalk. Five color Yorion. Oh, okay. Enigmatic incarnation. All right. Terra Sunder it is. Terra Sunder? Yeah. Terra Sunder. Rampaging Brontodon. Big time trim that. Bring in one extinction event. I like it. Rampaging Brontodon. The opponent almost certainly has Leyline Binding. And they can target this big thing pretty easily. They at least have to jump through a hoop to target Tyrannix Rex. And they can't target Carnage Tyrant ever. So trim the biggest thing that can be targeted. The easiest. Yeah, pre-recorded. Pre-recorded, 100%. I'm just glad it sometimes lines up pretty good. But this hand is pretty good. And I also forgot again, I don't need, I don't need Leyline Binding. But I, well, two Terra Sunders now, good. Play your Up the Beanstalk. Oh, you don't, okay, well, they don't have Up the Beanstalk, so in Death of Trium it is. Oh, good, good. You're paying two to draw a card. All right. No more of that. I, I should add in a single Jetmere's Garden, a forest type. Gets me my Source of Red for Polanyi's Hatcher, a Ley Line of Sanctity, good stuff. Target opponents, okay. If we had that Ley Line of Sanctity down, they would not have been able to cast Unmoored Ego. So we're really going to prioritize Ley Line of Sanctity, 100%. Yeah. Uh. But also the cycling, even on those triomes or the lands from Streets of New Capenna, paying three to cycle, it's, it's kind of rough. Drawing a card from the one Carnage Tyrant in my hand, that, that is good. I'll take it. I have so many fantastic big bodies. That's going to be good. Oh, give me an Arcdruid's Charm. Beautiful. Oh, man. Big time. Arcdruids, Castle Garenbrig, and we're off to the races. I hope. We can't make seven next turn, but at the very least I can make six. Nurturing Bristleback would grab 
whatever other forest type land. Oh, it, it's so lovely. It's the forest. Nurturing bristleback searches for it. It helps so many other things. It's pretty pricey for good reason. Yeah. But I also like those surveil lands with murders at Karlov Manor. Actually, we do need another source of white for a potential ley line of sanctity. We can make seven. If the opponent can't do uh, something, if we get a land untapped next turn, maybe Galta Stampede Tarrant, and maybe the opponent is dead. I hope. They'll probably have something up their sleeve. And it's Elish Norn, this is painful. Actually, Terra Sunder is quite painful because now we just uh, we just exile her. Okay, okay, yeah. Sylvan Scrying. We search for our land for the turn. Next turn we'll be able to make eight, but this turn we make a certain someone go away. Bye bye. No, no, no. See ya. I hope. Out of there. Cross your fingers they don't have another one. Because uh, we might be about to do it. Don't have another. But Traxa. Oh, oh. I am inevitable. You did it. I like the OG norm. The from uh, whatever. It was. Anyways, they're tapped out. We've got Galta. Two Tranix Rexes, planes to give God to haste, and oh boy, pack a punch like nothing else. I think it's a good game. Should be. Bye. Sixteen, twenty-eight, thirty-one. Yeah, they're dead. They would only go up to thirty. Perfect. Oh, I love it. I think they should be at minus one. Yes. Oh. Okay, never mind. We'll get them, hopefully. Math is hard. Math is hard. Okay. Don't have a sweeper. Maybe they do have a sweeper. They got four. Oh, boy. Hey, if they don't have a sweeper, they're dead. That's good. No sweeper. Don't do it. Oh, that's not going to do it. What do I want to press now? I should use a new one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Yeah, yeah. Whew. I think life steal. I do like that. Whenever the creature deals damage, they take something. Free. Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh. Oh, the actor's name on the tip of my tongue. Uh, I know this. I'm usually good. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yes. Freedom. The clip. I know that clip. That'd be good. And maybe I should record my voice over it when he's yelling freedom. I should record myself saying Dino or something like that. William Wallace. Huh. Hmm. I could get pretty creative with that. Hey, at the very least, I picked apart somebody that clutch tear asunder to simply exile any specific non-land permanent done. If we hadn't been able to exile Elish Norn, we we wouldn't have won that game, I don't think. Hmm. I don't know, there's just there's so many good potential clips I'm never going to want run out 100% which is nice 
you know, finding something for the perfect moment. However, that was a pretty perfect finish to tonight. Leave it there for now, Scorpion. And anybody else? Jordan? JDX? Commander Crane? Anybody watching right now, later on, whenever it is, have a good rest of your time zone. Get some good rest. Stay tuned for more clips, whether it is William Wallace, Freedom, Dino Freedom. This is a load of barnacles. <laughs> Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Okay. <laughs>